Welcome back to Dallas, Texas. You know, it was in the summer of 2014 that a walk-on out of Riggins, Idaho, strolled onto campus at Boise State. Over the last three and a half years, Leighton Vanderess has showed what happens when your potential matches your work ethic and that the path to the draft when you do so isn't so unlikely. When you look at him today, it's almost hard to remember that Leighton Vanderess didn't always look like this. The player that arrived at Boise State with little to no fanfare three and a half years ago. We know Layton was long, tall, you know, kind of gangly. Now bears little resemblance to the athlete that is currently one of the more popular college football players in the country. Van Der Esch right there with a four, six, seven. That's Layton nice Van Der Esch may have came to Boise State as a walk on, but he's leaving as a potential first round NFL draft pick. So how did it happen? How did this kid from Riggins and growing up there? He's going to be a tough kid and he definitely was out transform himself into this a 256 pound tackling machine. He was everything that you know we look for in a player searching for the answer. We went inside the room where Leighton Vanderesh was built. Obviously, he's got some pops. It's a piece of paper that Boise State strength coach you know, Jeff Pittman me, will likely cling on to for quite some time. Everything that he did was, you know, top notch. On it are numbers, right ones that bookend an incredible journey. First time we ran a 40, you know, he went his freshman year, you know, that summer ran a 501 40, you know, and obviously everybody seeing the combine run, you know, a low 46. While most try to wrap their head around how far Leighton has come, Pittman is one of the few that has experienced it firsthand. What Leighton initially lacked in size, he made up for with a focus you couldn't break. Leighton's going to. He's the type of guy that's going to do exactly what you ask him to do and then and then some. And a fire that never seemed to dwindle. You know, anytime with any competitions, anything like that, he always wanted to be involved with it. Six months after this project arrived on campus in 2014, the momentum would start and it would never seem to stop. You know, after going through the what we call the blue blood phase and going through the red shirt year, I think that first winter was really when he started developing in here. As his strength and size began to increase. Now obviously Layden genetically is just a different animal. The staff began to focus on potentially the most noticeable physical attribute of Layton's development. You don't see many necks that look like his. Yeah, yeah. Good looking neck, man. <laughs> From walk on to first round draft pick. It's a story that certainly matches Layton's attitude and work ethic. And for those he leaves behind in Boise, it's also a reminder that the work you do in the shadows will allow you to shine in the spotlight. Superior athlete. I mean, superior in every way, mentally, you know, physically, emotionally, all those things. Just the guy that was on a mission and will continue to be on a mission. I fully expect him to play 10 years in the NFL at a very rough position. and excited to see him play. <laughs> Aren't we all? By the way, a special shout out to assistant strength coach Tyson Gale for helping build that neck.